Hi everyone and thanks for joining us today. Our webinar will begin in just a moment, but we wanted to share this video of E from China sharing her cultural exchange experiences. So here is her story. My name is E. I'm from Jiangsu province and I teach Chinese in high school in Gastonia. I think uh, probably a lot of people will think Chinese people, they are kind of uh, shy. So compared with a lot of Chinese people, I feel like I'm more adventurous and independent. And I like to experience new cultures. Teaching in the United States just makes me feel like I'm more international than before because I meet new friends from all over the world. Some students, they told me they never had the chance to talk with a native speaker from China. So I hope my teaching and my presence in the school district and in the community can really help them to know real Chinese culture. Besides teaching them a Chinese language, I teach them to make Chinese food. And also I had a chance to invite some other artists from China to share uh, Chinese culture with my students. Before I came to United States, I did not really expect that the, the biggest challenge uh, to teach in the United States is to manage the students. Classroom management in China is kind of easier because parents will think teachers are there to help their kids to, to be successful. So they will say, hey, just be tough on our kids. Here, more like a, a student-centered classroom. Students here are more active. They like to uh, express themselves. So when I go back to China, I want to share with my Chinese students and Chinese parents this part. I want them to be more de de independent and uh, more open-minded and to know what's going on in the society. It's not just like a school life, you just need to work on your uh, courses, but also you need to think about the future. To teach in the United States is not just a challenge. Actually, you can enjoy a different life every day. And uh, as we all know, United States is the strongest country in the world. I feel it's, a, it's really an honor for me, and also it's a very pleasant uh, uh, journey for me to teach and to live in the United States. And I would say I really thank uh, EPI and all the uh, friends or people who uh, helped me to get the chance to uh, work in the United States and to teach in the United States. Thank you. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to our webinar, How to Apply to Teach in the USA with EPI. My name is Jessica and I work as a content coordinator for EPI. I'm from the mountains of North Carolina and before working for Educational Partners International, I taught English at the community college level. Today I will be talking with you about EPI's application process and answer any questions that you might have. We'll be answering them in the comment section throughout the presentation today. Please keep in mind that we won't be able to answer questions about your specific application for privacy reasons. All of those should be emailed to team at teachwithepi.com where one of our trained admissions specialists will be able to assist you. 
Today we will be talking about how to apply to teach in the U.S. with Educational Partners International. During this webinar, we will be going over how to start your application and what documents you will need for it. We will also explain the purpose of the application and give you some tips that will make the process go as quickly as possible. If you're joining us for the first time, we are Educational Partners International, or EPI for short, and we are a cultural exchange program that brings international teachers to teach in K-12 schools in the United States. We are so dedicated to facilitating authentic cultural exchange in the U.S. because EPI believes sharing knowledge across cultures and venues improves understanding among teachers, students, administrators, and members of the communities in which we live. This is our core mission, to help exchange knowledge and information between cultures so that we can understand each other better and work together to create a global community. Educational Partners International is an exchange visitor program authorized to sponsor teachers for K-12 placement in public, private, and charter schools in North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and Florida. We place teachers in all subjects taught in K-12 schools, so that means not only foreign languages and English as a second language, but also math, science, art, special education, elementary education, and many more. While we work with schools across the southern United States, our home office is in the mountains of North Carolina, which you can see in the photo on your screen. We'd love to know where you are from too, so please take the time to tell us in the comments. And wherever you are joining us from, thank you so much for watching. So now that you have some background on who we are, it is important to understand EPI's process. Our process for bringing teachers like you to the United States looks like this. First, you complete an application so that we know you are eligible for our program and will be a strong candidate for cultural exchange. This includes filling out a thorough online form, uploading official documents, and two interviews with EPI team members. After you've completed the application process, you're moved to the approved stage where you interview at one of our partnered schools. Once you complete a successful school interview, you are placed in the school and become an official EPI teacher. So let's take a closer look at the first step, the application. EPI's application is thorough and it serves many purposes. Filling it out creates a professional profile for schools to look at when they are considering teachers for interviews. It also helps you collect the documents that you will need to get a visa, travel to the United States, and to get a teaching license. Finally, we use the information you provide on the application to decide whether or not you meet our eligibility requirements. Some of the requirements for being an EPI teacher are that you are currently teaching, you have two years full-time teaching experience, and you have the equivalent of a U.S. bachelor's degree. So you've read about EPI, meet our qualifications, and have decided that you want to apply to teach in the USA. How do you get started? So the first step is to go to our website teachwithepi.com and select the apply button. After you answer the eligibility question and click submit, you will be able to make an account with your email address and start your application. Once you start your application, it is important that you prioritize completing your personal and professional profile as soon as possible so that you can quickly move to the next stage in the application process. So one of the most common questions our candidates ask is, how long does the process take? Our application is designed to make sure that you are able to travel and teach in the U.S. and includes processing all of your documents and two interviews with the EPI team members. So how long it takes depends on how quickly you can collect and upload the appropriate documents. So here's a list of the documents you will need to upload to your application before you are eligible for school interviews. We ask for copies of all pages of your passport, diploma, transcripts, criminal background checks, proof of employment, and a credential evaluation from an NACES approved company. When you are first starting your application, you should prioritize uploading the passport pages, diplomas, and transcripts because we will need these documents before we can invite you for interviews with EPI team members. 
please keep in mind that the only place you should upload these documents is to the official EPI website, teachwithepi.com. To protect your privacy, you should never upload any documents to Facebook. We will not accept any of your documents through our Facebook page or messages. Today we have some tips on what you can do to make sure the application process goes as quickly and smoothly as possible. The first step is to read all of our requirements before you apply. You can find a complete list on our website. When completing the application, you will need to be sure to read and follow all directions carefully. You will also want to proofread all of your answers as any mistakes made with typos or spelling can make it take longer. Finally, be sure to create your account with a valid email address and check your email regularly. We will only be able to discuss your application through email, so it is important that you are looking for emails from EPI about your status. Okay, now we will be taking the time to address questions. If you have not submitted yours yet, please ask them now. We'll be answering all of your questions in the comments section today. So here are some of the most common questions we get at EPI. Lots of applicants want to know how long the EPI program is, and we are a three-year program. People also ask, is there an application fee? The answer is no, there is no application or placement fee. There are other costs associated with your application, such as obtaining your diploma or transcripts, but EPI will never charge you an application or a placement fee. Another question we often get is, is there an age limit? So no, there is no age limit. As long as you meet our basic requirements, you can join the EPI program regardless of your age. So some of those requirements are that you are currently teaching with at least two years full-time teaching experience, you have the equivalent of a U.S. bachelor's degree, and you have advanced English skills. We also have some other questions that have been on our applicants' minds more recently. Most people want to know, is EPI still accepting applications? So yes, EPI is continuing to accept and process applications. You can apply by visiting our website, teachwithepi.com. For more information about what our application process looks like at this time, please email our admissions team at team at teachwithepi.com. Another question that applicants have is, can I put my application on hold? And yes, you are able to start your application and later put it on hold if you need to. There is no obligation to continue once you have started. You can then choose to resume your application at a time that is better for you and your personal situation. Finally, our applicants have been wondering how does EPI support teachers during times of uncertainty or emergencies? We always prioritize the safety of our program members and provide support for any situations that may arise while they're in the United States. For example, since the outbreak of COVID-19, we have been monitoring the situation, providing detailed guidance for our teachers, and operating at a normal capacity so that we can be available for all of our program members. So now that you know more about how to apply, let's talk about next steps. First, if you haven't yet, go to teachwithepi.com and start your application. If you have applied but have questions about how to continue, email us at team at teachwithepi.com. Finally, go to teachwithepi.com slash webinars to sign up for our future webinars and watch all of our previous videos. To end our presentation today, we would like to leave you with this quote as a reminder of why cultural exchange is so important and why we are eager to bring teachers like you to the United States. J. William Fulbright was a U.S. Senator and founder of the Fulbright Program. He said, the essence of intercultural education is the acquisition of empathy, the ability to see the world as others see it and to allow for the possibility that others may see something that we have failed to see or may see it more accurately. We are dedicated to helping teachers like you come to the U.S. so that we may learn from each other's unique perspectives, just like Fulbright talks about here.
Okay, that's all for today, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have any questions, please email us at team at teachwithepi.com. Also, be sure to sign up for our, our webinar mailing list at teachwithepi.com slash webinars. On behalf of everyone at EPI, thank you for joining us and have a great day. Thank you.